This is a bad sway bar link. It's wiggling all over the place and the boot is ripped. And here it comes penetrating fluid to the rescue on the top and on the bottom too. For the job, you can hire a 14 millimeter socket or wrench, a T30 socket, protecting goggles, and we start brushing off all the corrosion from the treads with a wire wheel. And it's time to use all your brute force because you need to counter torque them up, just like this. And you do the same for the top one. Using the same nut flip, you can hammer on onto this to dislocate the link from the strut and from the sway bar. Here's the old one. It's so nasty. Like you saw, the boot is ripped. And here it is, the new part. Quick comparison, make sure they are all the same. Brush off all the corrosion from the mating points. Make sure it's solid and it's not wiggling like the old one. Use a jack to jack it from the bottom of the brake caliper and lift up all the suspension so they can fit perfectly just like this. Use blue thread lock, it's medium strength so they won't get loose with vibrations. And it's time to torque them down. You can do it by hand or using a power tool on the lowest setting. Here are the torque specs for the upper and the lower portion. And we go to the opposite side. This link is dancing with the dead right now. If you don't care about the integrity of the boot, you can use a pair of vice scripts and break it loose, just like so. Here's a new one, and you repeat the same methodology as we did on the passenger side. Jack up the suspension and make the links fit into the holes of the sway bar and the strut as well. Medium strength blue thread lock. And part two for this video will be the outer tie rods. 